So from time to time, you will find down at the waterfront um, boats for sale. We do have a uh, brokerage uh, service. We are known for cat boats and known for sailboats. So typically all we broker are customers' boats that are cat boats. And we will broker sloops like Rhodes 19, Mariners, boats that are practical for Pleasant Bay. And then uh, we do have customers with Alarians in Nantucket, so of course we'll help them as well. Um, here you see a fisher cat, and this is a really nice boat here that uh, built by Howard Boats, and it's a co-brokerage with Howard Boats. Here is a Compass Classic, uh, built by Merv Hammett in 1998, and uh, they're no longer being built, but they're a great boat. All three of these are And our third one is a 1984 Aries Pond cat boat um, that we, uh, we have our... To wrap up our brokerage, um, as I said, we generally do just sailboats, but um, in this case, uh, Brad Pease uh, built this boat and uh, we wanted to help him out in selling it. He built it up, up in Maine. So every now and then we'll get a really, really nice power boat uh, like this one here and offer it for sale. This boat is now available at 37,000 with a trailer. It was built in 2019. So this is the uh, part of the boat show um, we're calling the tips and helping out with questions people generally ask while we're at the boat show. I'll be in between having talked, uh, you know, about all the details on, on the boat uh, that we brought to the show and then someone will come along and see all the wood and they'll ask, uh, how do you maintain this wood? And then we get into the discussion of, of how to finish. So here at Aries Pond, if you have a teak on your boat, we recommend, first of all, considering leaving it all natural. I'm not a big fan of oil but that's certainly an alternative. But we think CETOL on teak is the way to go to build five coats of CETOL. And uh, it has an oil in it that, that works well with the natural oils in teak. And it's easy to touch up. If you have mahogany uh, or cedar or oak um, and you want to uh, put a hard finish on it, we're a big fan of uh, varnish. And I'm not going to give away our secret formula for varnishing, uh, how we build in top coat, but um, typically we put seven to nine coats on as um, uh, six builder coats, and then we top it with three, two to three finished coats of varnish. And that's uh, sanding with between 220 and 320 uh, between each coat. But uh, yeah, so we talk about, about the wood and how, how to maintain it, the spars and the trim. And you have um, several different options as I explained. And then I'll get questions about the rigging. Um, and we'll go through those, the peak halyard, the throat halyard. These are all pretty much explained in our essentials video that you can find here uh, at the boat show um, or on our website. And then um, we'll, uh, talk about uh, the general overall maintenance. How do I store the boat? What's the best way to uh, uh, put her away and, uh, and store it for the winter? So there are two answers with that. Generally, and what we like to do here is put the boats away done. So the customers will give us their list, to-do list, or they'll have done it at home and they'll bring it to us and then we'll store the boat inside or outside. Um, typically, Boats with a lot of varnish, especially on the rub rails and combings and spars, we're going to recommend inside storage. 
the boats that have, uh, especially the club model of the 14, that have a, a, a plastic rail or natural teak finish, um, we're okay with shrink wrapping and storing outside or using tarps. But we, as again, we do stress if you have a lot of varnish and you've maintained it and you've put, you've got the boat all finished and ready to go for the spring, that you put it inside here at Aries Pond or in your garage or a uh, separate little outbuilding that you've constructed. This pays big time dividends in your investment in, in a boat. Um, and um, what spring comes with a big smile when you uncover the boat or pull it out of the garage and it's all ready to go. Um, it, and if uh, anti your anti-fouling area is not too serious, you could even have the bottom paint done in the fall and um, be ready to, and have that off the list as well. The outboards, uh, typically we, uh, you want to have those serviced, especially in the cold climates. You want to get all, flush out the carburetor, flush out the uh, fuel tanks um, and throw it uh, through a winterizing process. The uh, sails, um, if you've exposed your boat to a lot of salt, uh, over this over the summer and uh, put the boat away often under the cover with uh, salt spray we highly recommend that the uh, the sale go to a uh, to our canvas shop or one in your area and be washed and serviced and all the fittings uh, checked uh, if it was if you sail in fresh water and it was a light summer or even on salt water it was a light summer you can just in a boat and the sail looks good you could just take a hose um, at the dock and uh, or on your mooring, well, at, at the dock, <laughs> and then go out to your mooring and let it sit and, and dry out completely on the mooring and uh, then take the sail off and neatly fold it all nice and dry and, and store it properly. Be sure to hang it with a choker knot if you're going to put it in your uh, garage. Uh, mice love to find a, especially in the cold climates, the mice love to find your sails and covers and nestle in there and chew away at them. So uh, be sure that your sail bag is hanging from a hook with a nice choker knot on it. Um, the uh, spars, uh, we typically leave the rigging on. Some boat yards pull all the rigging off. Um, we'll pull the rigging off for a high-end maintenance coat. Otherwise, um, when I say rigging, I mean the running rigging, the, the throat, peak halyard, topping lift, or if it's a sloop, uh, the jib and, and uh, main halyard. And the, uh, and again, if it's maybe varnish or maybe paint touch-ups, but in a maintenance coat, we'll just uh, leave the halyards on, hang the blocks carefully, tape everything off, and, uh, and give it a, a good sanding and a, and a maintenance coat. The gaff jaws typically are the most exposed a uh, piece of wood that in the uh, butt end of your tiller uh, aren't are generally exposed all summer so you definitely want to give the tiller and the gaff jaws uh, if you have them a maintenance coat every year the spars even the mast itself can be done uh, uh, in the first while the boat is still new maybe every other year but then as the boat and the mast age um, you want to try to give the mast a coat every year and this will Again, pay dividends, preserve the investment in your beautiful Sitka Spruce Spar, which are very, very expensive now to replace. And uh, so maintenance is a, is a big part of owning your Aries Pond cat boat. Um, so that's the general questions I get. Um, I think the final tip, which I think I've repeated maybe a couple times at the different boats, is, is the cat boat... Um, well, people come up and will say, well, I live here and I've always wanted a cat boat. Um, and then I'll investigate a little bit more about their, the area they're in and that may be perfect. They're in shallow water, uh, very tidal and protected uh, bays, or they have islands they can sneak up behind um, and the cat boat is ideal. But for those who are in open water, deep water, you know, the cat boat may not be the right the right boat. So we'll talk about that to make sure that uh, as you get interested in, in, a, in an Aries Pond cat boat that it is the right boat for your waters. And so you get the full benefit of shallow water sailing. So there'll be, there's probably going to be a lot of other questions you'll have for us. Um, and so 
there is scheduled a uh, open mic or a cocktail party, I guess we're calling it, um, coming up. And uh, if you can zoom in and uh, have your questions ready and try and stump me, um, throw something at me that I, 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 I've never uh, uh, had to uh, answer before, as long as it has to do with boats. All right, talk to you soon. Thank you for joining us. Though we would have loved to see you all at the Mystic, Newport, or Annapolis boat shows this past year, we're excited to provide you with this behind the scene glimpse of Aries Pond. A few topics we'd like to briefly highlight. We do offer private summer sailing lessons for adults and kids out of our waterfront location and off site. If you'd like more information, please visit the website. Secondly, for the next two weeks, we will be offering a special deal on all new builds slated for a fall 2021 and spring 2022 delivery. You will have the option of either free bottom paint and barrier coat or free delivery and test sale anywhere within New England. However, if you are one of the first two deposits, we will offer you both options for free. Well, as we conclude the boat show, um, we have uh, the fun of um, kind of just wrapping up the, uh, the conversation. Typically, uh, it's a pretty stressful event after a five-day boat show. We're exhausted, uh, maybe stayed out a little too late, and, we're in, and it's been a sunny weekend, and we've been standing and talking for 10 hours a day for five days. And then we got to take the boats safely back to the boat yard, either from, like we've said all along, from Newport, Annapolis, or Mystic. But with this show, we can just wrap it up, uh, and it's back to work. Um, so I want to thank everybody uh, very much for uh, registering for this show and checking out what we do here at Aries Pond. I um, hope that uh, many of the new viewers have got a good feel of what we do and the quality of work we try to achieve here um, at Aries Pond and the different designs and the message basically that we can pretty much tackle any, any small boat design, um, either ours or yours, in our boat building shop. Um, it, we would sit down and discuss uh, any plans you might have and we would give you a bid. So to make this whole thing possible starts with uh, my crew, my boatyard team. Some of them you met, some uh, we asked them all, some uh, decided they just didn't want to be on camera, which is fine. Uh, but you see a good group of them waving as we conclude and thanking you for, uh, for checking us out. I'd like to thank the customers who allowed us to show their boats in this boat show. Uh, and uh, we really appreciate their willingness to let us uh, uncover the boat and crawl around it and in and out of it. And uh, thank you very much. And overall, thanks to all my Aries Pond, all our Aries Pond customers. Without you, um, none of this uh, uh, would be happening. Um, so thank you. And I can't forget my family, number one, um, my brother-in-law who has been doing all these videos, the uh, ones that you see, the uh, Cat Boat Essentials, and we really appreciate um, the views that we've been getting. So we will be doing a racing video coming out next year on how to, uh, well, what I, whatever I know about racing, um, I'm going to uh, give you my tips on how to get a good start and how to round the marks and uh, try to get a first, second, or third place in a cat boat race. So that is in the works, and we look forward to adding that to our cat boat essential videos, as well as the uh, videos on Caracal and on our 22-foot cat boats, where I think uh, we've got over 80,000 or over 100,000 views, and we really appreciate that interest. We have, um, this could not have happened without my daughter, Brooke, um, and my daughter, Sky and my wife, Robin. They, uh, along with uh, Haley and Julian, really meshed this all together into a, uh, into a boat show for your viewing. So thanks to them, it would never have happened. I'm just a talking head here. They just tell me what to say and, uh, or try to say, and I, and I try to do it. So thank you all, and uh, uh, please reach out if you, 
we didn't answer all your questions, we'd really like to see you sailing in an Aries Pond built boat. Thank you.